very few German knew what was going on. Very few. None of us knew what was happening. The place is shown on these films. None of us. But the most ironic part of it is that the prosecution showed these films against these defendants, men who stayed in power for one reason only, to prevent worse things from happening. Who is the braver man? The man who escapes or resigns in times of peril, or the man who stays on his post at the risk of his own personal safety? The defense will present witnesses and letters and documents from religious and political refugees all over the world telling how Ernst Janning saved them from execution. The defense will show the many times Ernst Janning was able to effect mitigation of sentences when without his influence, the results would have been much worse. The defense will show that Ernst Janning's personal physician was a non-Aryan, a Jewish man who he kept in attendance much to his own peril. The defense presents affidavits from legal authorities and famed jurists the world over, pleading that special considerations must be made in this case, saying that the entire work of Ernst Janning was inspired by one motive and one motive only, the endeavor to preserve justice and the concept of justice.